everybody. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how you can create a Flappy Bird game, which is, of course, a very simple game inside of code.org. So before we start developing our actual game, I just want to show you a quick preview of how our game will look after we develop it. So I'm going to show my screen. Now we will hit run to, of course, run the game. And now it'll just say get ready. And then it'll say us to tap or click to go ahead and start up the game. Um, I'm just going to use the sound. Okay. Now uh, if I um, click, then as you can see, there's that little flap sound when I keep clicking. And then when I pass through this obstacle, as you can see, my score actually increases. And then, you know, like a jingle sound plays. But when I go ahead and hit this, just as the game is over, and if I reset it and then run it back up, then if I hit the ground, for example, then also the game is over. So basically, this is how our game will look after we go ahead and develop it. So I'm just going to stop that, open up a new tab, search for code.org. And then I'm going to go over to create and I'm going to actually hit view all projects this time because this time it's not going to be an app lab project or a game lab project or anything. It's actually going to be a flappy project. So that's the template that we are going to be using. So just select that and here we are. So this is very simple when we use this template. Now I'm going to call this like flappy bird. Um, bird game demo or something you can call it flappy bird game i'm going to save it and yeah this is how it is so um when we actually run our game that means when we first run our game right what we want to do is just initialize some stuff so here what i'm going to start by doing is just setting the scene to um city Maybe night. You can you can pick whatever you want. I'm going to go with city night, and I'm just going to put that there. Now, if I hit run, boom, the city changes to you know night kind of city. Now we want to set the player to a yellow bird, and you don't actually have to do this. I'm just giving you more room to customize this, so you can change your um. Um, your player to whatever you want. So if I do like fish or something, then it's going to be, yeah, a fish. So I'm going to actually change that back to a yellow bird. Now we will go ahead and set the obstacle. So the obstacles are, of course, like, um, let me show you here. So, you know, these pipes. So those are the obstacles. So for that, I'm going to set this to pipe. And if you want to um, make it kind of more stylish or something, you can go with sci-fi. And I actually can show it because we have not Im implemented the speed and the flapping. Then we will go ahead and set the gap between um, the, the pipe or the obstacles. I'm just going to set this to a very large gap. You can just put it to normal. The reason I'm doing very large is because I'm showing you a demo. Okay, now we can actually go ahead and set the speed, which is the speed of our player, and then we will just set it to a normal speed. Okay, now it's going, and as you can see, is the um, sci-fi thing. Now if I change this back to a pipe, and then I reset, and this is only happening because we set our speed, and now as you can see, it's the pipe so that's nice now we actually want to flap and then like play a little kind of sound which is like a wing sound so for that we'll of course use our when click so that's whenever we click on the screen or tap on the screen so we want to flap right so for this code.org or you know flappy has um, um a function or a block okay so it says flap a normal amount and you can play around with this you can go you know to whatever you want i'm actually just going to make it just flap a normal amount if you do like you know very large amount then it's going to flap a lot more and then we want to just put in some sound effects because yeah that just gives you that little finishing touch to your game so if i do wing you can see that right so you can do anything that you want now if I hit play, boom, our flapping works. 
But right now the thing is when we're colliding with these, nothing happens. So that's the whole point of the game. So that's not good, right? So let's actually implement that with when hit an obstacle. Actually, when hit a ground, we'll implement that first because that's, you know, whenever we hit the ground. So for this, I'm actually simply just going to end the game, okay? So that's how real Flappy Bird works. Now if I touch the ground, the game is over. Now, when we hit an obstacle, we want to do the same thing. We will just end game. Okay, now if I go ahead and collide with one of these obstacles, the game is over. Now, when we pass an obstacle, right, so that's whenever we go through it. So if I run it, and then I try to go through it. Right now, the score doesn't increase, right? So we want to actually score a point. So for that, score a point. That's it. It's a very simple code. Now if I hit run, and then, boom. Now um, whenever I pass through an obstacle, the score actually increases. So with that being said, you can actually call this a completed game. And I know it was very basic to create this game with code.org's Flappy. So I've given you um, enough space for customizing this game to your needs. So you can do whatever you want with this game. You can customize this to whatever you want. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.